Um, once again, this is CN, CNG TV, and I'm with Mr. Fabakari today, aka Fax. <laughs> aka Mafo. All right, anyway, Fabakari, um, once again, we're going to talk about Gambian football. As everybody knows me about Gambian football, um, we currently about to qualify for the second time for AFCON, African Cup of Nations. So, all we want. All we want to know now is, do you think we will qualify for the second time? And now we are renovating the stadium. CAF came and they said, we still need to fix a lot. And then the march is on September. Do you think all of these things will happen? Do you think we will qualify? And do you think we will play our home game, last home game in Gambia? And what's your take on that? I mean, thank you very much, CNG. And then thank you for the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is a privilege talking about Gambian football. Yes. I mean, uh, I think uh, when you talk, uh, when you ask about qualification, uh, it is 99 over 100, yeah. meaning I am very certain that we will get the qualification. Yeah. Regarding our stadium, they are doing a lot of effort to get the stadium done and dusted so that at least we can have our home ground and then we can have our own way to play our football. Yeah. I believe if the right resources are yeah. uh, invested with the right you know constructors but it's, it's, it's a hundred million that is already been sorted. yeah but the reason why i use the word the right yeah. you're talking about the gambia yeah. sometimes you'll get the fixed amount of money t to a certain project yeah. but they might give it to a wrong constructor or they might give it or the funds might be diverted I invested properly yeah. i believe the work could be speed up mm -hmm. and then the work could be finished on time so that at least it will give us the privilege or the opportunity to play our last game in our home ground. Yeah. Thank you so much, Fabakar Cham. Fabakar Ture. Um, what I'm going to say again is, I know you've been part of football, you've been part of um, the Sport Council, and right now, as we are talking, I think one of your colleagues, um, uh, Marshall, is, is the leading, you know, contractor or whatever it is. Um, you've, you've, you've worked with him. Do you think he will push us to, 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 to get this thing sorted, to get the stadium, be ready before September? Yeah, to make things, uh, to clarify things, I was the executive secretary of National Sports Council, the position where Marshall is today. Yeah. That was me that was handling that position before. Yeah. So what I'm trying to put across, I trust him. I know he's very hardworking. I know he has a very positive mindset towards developing Gambian sports. Yeah. If he's pushed up and then he's given, you know, the, the little tack tack, I'm sure he's gonna make good use of the time. Yeah. He's gonna make good use of the project. Mm -hmm. He's gonna push up the Gambia to the level we, we required or we want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm positive. Yeah, but again, um, Fabakari, um, generally, Gambian football. Yeah. What's your take on Gambian football? Do you think we improve or we in the same standard or we we just starting to get where we wanna get? To be honest, we improve because we had our first Afghan qualification. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we are about to get the second one. Yeah. That's an improvement, positivity. That's because cool. we've been playing for quite a long time without, without reaching that. that. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's improvement. Yeah. So the most important thing that I want to put across is we need to strategize our leadership. We need to stop picking up people because we believe we know them or we believe we think they can do it. No, give the job to people who can do it. Yeah. Invite the sports, you know, they call it sports scientists or the sports enthusiasts invite them to come together yeah. they are the ones who are there they play physically from there they can able to join hands together and then promote our gambian football let us also rely on the people who are living outside as yeah. well our our current administration i don't know how they source yeah. their phones or how they source their talents yeah. but it is lacking to my understanding they should push up more they should list with the people in diaspora, they should list with contacts and get this football promoted to a certain level. That's Look at all the countries we used to beat. Yeah. Guinea Bissau, yeah. Mauritania, yeah. Senegal yeah. and everyone. Mm. They are all ahead of us. Mm. Let's take a great example from Cape Verde. Yeah. Now look at where Cape Verde is. Yeah. Look at where we are. Yeah. You know, That's people true. all over the world are happy yeah. to naturalize and play for that country. Why not us? We get a lot of talents here. Look, I am a coach here in Birmingham. Yeah. I coach a lot of talents. A yeah. lot of youth here are play as scout and then they are playing in other leagues and they don't want to go and play for Gambia. Why? Because no Gambian authority reach to them. No Gambian authority concern about them. And, and, and no and Gambian authority want to get them. The way things are in Gambia. Yes, yes. It's not motivating them. Exactly. So we need to standardize our league. 
we need to put more effort. We are not going in that direction. We have to push up, and I'm sure with the right push up, with the right tak tak or tak tak, yeah. we'll get there. Thank you so much, Fabakari. Once again, thank you so much, boy. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dembasanyan.